I am not from Arizona. I just thought I would take a minute, a quick one, and clarify to you, it's my fault, maybe, but I need to clarify to you just a couple of things and then I wanna to touch a little bit on drag truck here just for a second. This comes up all the time about Arizona. I have people that wanna meet me from Arizona for the van wars. I have people that uh, ask me questions about Arizona, what elevation, because they got deserts, they got mountains, what elevation I'm racing at in Arizona, where I'm at in Arizona. I'm not from Arizona. And uh, you see this plate, it says Arizona, but look at the letters. There's 10 of them. You really can't get a plate with 10 letters on it that I know of. So. I kind of thought that that would be somewhat of a, but I guess it's easy to look past that. And you see Arizona plate on my car. You assume I'm from Arizona. I'm not. In fact, I'm a long way from it. I got Arizona when I made this simply because uh, we've been on the old mother road, Route 66, out through Arizona. Beautiful country out there. Uh, love the mountains, Flagstaff, the Red Rocks, Sedona. But the plates are awesome. Beautiful looking plates compared to some of the some of them that you know are out there. So that's why. If you look at my channel art, the artwork on my channel, it's old Route 66. Besides, both of my dusters are from Arizona. That Ram Charger my wife used to have was from Arizona. But I'm not in Arizona. And a couple people have wondered, it must be North Dakota then. <laughs> Actually, I do have a lot of ties in North Dakota. I got family up there. My dad was raised up in North Dakota. And uh, to be honest with you, I have a lot of people make the remark, oh, you must be in Canada when I hear you talk, you know. Nope, not at all. Actually, my state allows me to put whatever plate I want on here, as long as I got antique vehicle plates on this, which I do. So this is a 1980 Dodge truck, so I can run 1980 plates on there. See, 80. And I just carry my, my real plates with me. So these plates stay on there permanently. Some people have even said, you kind of talk like, or are you trying to imitate Derek from Vice Grip? Nope. I think it's just the North Dakotian in each of us that kind of gives us this, you know, way of talking and certain amount of dry humor that, that we have in common. In fact, I was snowmobiling and hunting jackrabbits not all that far away from where he was when he was in his mama's cooker. I was, I, I'm older than he is by a bit. So some will say, Wisconsin, you're getting close, but nope. It's real close though. I just have fun. I buy cars from here and there and sometimes they come with plates and I just have fun when I'm making videos putting different plates in the front. So actually, I'm a way at the top of Illinois. -y. I just wanna give a little something here on drag truck. I was watching just Mopar Joel do his, uh, his version of a drag truck and I love it. He's doing it 318 wheel run style, grabbing a little of this and a little of that, and if it's ready or not, send it. As a matter of fact, I think it's been about seven months since I even started this. This has been one of my funnest projects I've done in maybe forever. Just been a blast. We want to get back on it. There's just so much, so much little time, but I gotta make something happen on it this year, just a couple things in front of it. For all the new people, I just, I'll give a quick shakedown of it, of what we got going on. Come on in. 
So this truck was bought from a, a farmer sitting along a farmer's field. It was his daughter's first car. Um, had a 318 two barrel in it. We pulled that out and we put this $150 5.9 Magnum we got off of Craigslist. And then I sold the, some of the electronics and exhaust manifolds off it and basically got my money back out of it. We put this 40% off Black Friday day, uh, Friday sale intake on it for $130 and an Oregon regrind cam. I didn't even so much as pull the oil pan off of this. 200,000, well, 198,000 mile motor. I just checked the oil pressure before I dropped it in by spinning a drill and a primer. Um, I did put the Hughes valve springs on here. I did, I did get a, a good deal half price basically on somebody who bought some remanufactured magnum heads they're not performance just remanufactured in case yours were cracked and you wanted to you know do it and uh so i put those on there just because i had them um but they weren't performance heads we did that we got a free 727 and i got rid of the lockup transmission when i did that i put a hughes converter behind it and Eight and three quarter we we picked up and a set of 430 gears it's run 13 flat on its only real pass through the quarter mile 1308 to be exact 820s 823 or something like that in the eighth i'm not it was 820 something in the eighth so that's where we are with it but uh this isn't the motor that was supposed to be in here it was just like a shakedown engine we plan to put something better in there still be cheap 